Hello, welcome to the uh, instructions, the audio instructions for uh, worksheet B. Worksheet B. Um, worksheet B is asking you to work out some present value and future value problems, and I'll go over how you should do it. There's four tabs under the worksheet. You just complete the tabs. The first worksheet is uh, about future value and it's asking you to use the space below to calculate the future value of $1,000 invested today for 20 years at 4% interest. How would you do that? Well, this is a model again. The parts in blue are going to be the input cells. In this case, you're going to put in the principal value of $1,000, the interest rate of 4%, 0.04, and the years investment at 20 years. Then you need a formula that's going to give you the future value at the end of those years. Uh, I can even do this one for you. The future value is going to be the principal times, oops, but I messed it up already. You have to start with equals the principal times parentheses 1 plus the interest rate raised to the power of the years. That is going to be your answer. Um, you should understand where that formula came from, and I'm not going to do the rest of the uh, formulas for you, but that's the basic idea. So we have a model that calculates the future value of $1,000 at 4% for 20 years. Now the beauty of this model is the formula is already there. If we want to know what our future value is in 10 years, we just change 20 to 10. If we want to know what the future value is if the interest rate changes to 10%, we just change it to 10%. And every time the, the future value is being recalculated and is changing there. That's part one. Question two is asking you to calculate the future value uh, of these with of these numbers and enter the value into these cells. So you need to create a formula in this cell that can be copy and pasted down this row such that it gives you the future value of, of these combinations of data. You can check your answer by typing in, say, say you have the value in this cell, you can check your answer by typing in here uh, 300 for the principal, as long as you've done this part right, 15% uh, for the interest rate, and nine years to maturity. So in this cell you should have this number here, 1055. That's part one. Future value part two is asking you to do it again. Create a, create a model, this time without so much uh, structure, so that you kind of have to know where to put the numbers in your model up here. And once you do that, create a data table which shows how the future value varies with the years to uh, the, the, the investment is going to be in place and the interest rate. You should remember how to construct a data table from the worksheet A. Remember what you're going to do is you're going to put, you're going to create a model that calculates the future value, you're going to put it in that cell there. Then you're going to make sure that this cell here, cell A15, references that cell there. Then you're going to highlight this range and you're going to go up to uh, data, what if analysis, data table, and you're going to enter the row and the input cell properly. The rows are the years and the column that sells the interest rates, so you're going to choose years and interest rate in the right places, and then it should populate the, the results for you there. When you're building this model, remember, you don't doesn't matter what numbers you put in here. You choose any numbers you want in here. And as long as the formula is right, what matters is what you've put uh, in here. Although I should say maybe that's not quite right. You do need to put a thousand dollars for the principal because the data table is going to, it can only vary two values, but this model has three values that might change. So we're going to hold the principal constant at a thousand. So you want to make sure that that says a thousand because the data table will obviously change depending on if this is a thousand or five hundred or whatever. So we want to keep that at a thousand. Okay. The next tab is asking about the present value slightly different than the future value, which you should be learning from the textbook. Again, going, it's, like, it's just like the first tab, create a model that calculates present value, you, you have to find the appropriate formula, do it again, paste the formula down here, make sure it works. Present value part two, again, it's just like uh, future value part two, except that I have not given you a template with which to construct the data table. 
Okay, so I'd like you to construct a data table down here that shows how the value of $1,000 is varying with the timing of the payments as well as the interest rate. Um, you should use future value to the worksheet as a guide. So you might look at these interest rates and these years. Now, <clears throat> there may come a time when you, for whatever reason, you want to look at a different number of years. Say you don't want 1, 2, 3, 4. You might want 1, 2, 3, 4, then 10, 20, 30, 40 to give you sort of a bigger range, sort of a, a tight range early and then a longer range uh, later. Or you might look at interest rates in the 10, 20, 30 percent category. The important thing to realize is why are you constructing this data table? You want there's some economic value or meaning in choosing the row the row variables and the column variables. At this point, it doesn't, doesn't really matter, but later when you do your assignment on the mortgages, it might make some sense to choose values that seem reasonable given for the prices of housing and uh, interest rates on mortgages. I think that's it for the instructions for this, uh, for this section.